When it comes to multiple sclerosis, avoiding certain foods is as important as consuming the right ones. MS is an immune system disease, and some studies have shown that saturated fat can have a negative and drastic impact on the body's immune cells. It's clear that maintaining a healthy diet is important to keep the condition under control, so here are five foods you should avoid when dealing with multiple sclerosis. Number one, red meat. There's no denying that red meat is particularly high in saturated fat. When consumed regularly, it can increase your risk of certain types of heart disease, such as heart attack and stroke. This is particularly troubling since people with MS are already at a higher risk for developing conditions like these. Number two, fast food. Fast food is cheap, easy, and engineered to be delicious. Unfortunately, it's rarely very healthy, especially in the saturated fat department. While certain fast food options may sound healthy, many times they're secretly full of fat to maximize their tastiness. Number three, whole milk. In addition to being high in saturated fat, whole milk contains proteins that can harm immune cells in the body even more. While avoiding dairy altogether is probably the best option if you have MS, making the switch to low-fat varieties is a healthier choice as well. Number four, eggs. Since they're so frequently used in baking, it can be difficult to avoid eggs altogether. When that's not possible, it's best to stick with egg whites only, since they don't contain high levels of saturated fat like their yolks. Number five, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil may be used for all sorts of things in the kitchen, but luckily it's quite easy to replace. Stick with alternatives like olive oil instead. It's low in saturated fat, but still high in healthier, unsaturated varieties. It certainly takes a lot more than avoiding certain foods to keep multiple sclerosis in check. However, the right diet is still an important aspect of staying healthy and keeping the condition under control. Be sure to subscribe to the Allot Health newsletter for bi-weekly updates and information. And until next time, here's to your health.